Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And I don't know if I'm just being paranoid or fit, but I'm going to be talking about this coronavirus bullshit, right? Right? Just going to talk about it now. Because this is getting way fucking out of hand. This is getting way too fucking serious. And all I'm fucking seeing on the news outlets is them taking the piss over the whole fucking thing. They're even talking about things, right? They like they have these main news articles that they're said in the whole fucking day, and they're not telling you a hundred and twenty thousand people are infected with a fucking thing in the United States. Seventy two thousand people are infected and shut the fuck up phone. That's probably telling it now because I'm actually ranting about it. Um yeah, I'm going to start ranting about it. 72,000 people are infected in Spain. 17,000 people have just magically fucking appeared to be infected in the UK, where I live. 70,000. The last week, that number wasn't even fucking there. It was 500. Where the fuck does these numbers come from? Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? And... I'm getting preoccupied with bullshit with YouTube celebrities. What the fuck? I'm just annoyed I made a fucking video about me making projects on my other channel. What the fuck am I thinking? We need to take that fucking thing real straight, people. We are not doing enough, right? If you're going to listen to one person, and if you think this is fucking hilarious, it's not. This is not fucking funny. I'm getting a migraine through this. I feel that. People are dying. We're getting to the situation where I've seen content now. I mean, it's not like over the last few minutes. It's been the last few days as I've been able to, well, not self-isolate because I'm lucky don't fucking have it yet. But I'm somehow not infected because I work in a store in this country. And I should be infected very, very soon. Oh, let's give me a so fucking he knew. I'm going to get infected soon, right? I know I will. And they're saying, oh, it's just mild symptoms I'm going to get. They say it affects the elderly, right? It affects the elderly more than us. Maybe that's true. But has anyone seen what the fuck's going on in China right now? Everyone is more or less aware of what's going on in Europe right now. And everyone else isn't giving a fucking shit. But, now, there's footage being leaked over the fucking internet. If you look up Glasgow News, I just watched three of those videos. Holy shit, the last three ones they put up. Holy shit, man. We are seeing Asian people... Um, well, there's this one video where I'm not going to show you here, but I will talk about it later. Fuck me, this is getting serious. She blows a hanky into the fucking, like, sorry, she blows a hanky there and slaughters it right across the top of the bench, on the somebody's bench. And this was recorded out of accident, right? She blows her nose and puts it on the bench, the wooden bench where people would be touching it. Like, this is an Asian wifey in some European country. Uh, this isn't a mistake. This isn't conned. This is real. This is what I think the Ch I think the Chinese did this on purpose. And honestly, well fucking done. You are really going well with this one, aren't you? You are going so well. You still recording? Yeah, you're still fucking recording. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Let's get it back here. Fucking gloves. You see these things? They're called gloves. Ye need to wear these because people are, uh, looks like they seem to be snotting into their fucking hands and then slaughtering over every surface people will get. Use your fucking gloves because this is getting serious and people are dying. 72,000 people don't just magically appear to get infected. We are in cases now in Europe, well, let's talk about the Europe case first. Like, I'm trying to get as much information as I possibly can about this coronavirus. This is getting fucking stupid. There was that care home in Spain where the whole 14 
of the elderly residents were just found dead by randomness and the nurses and them just left them alone because they didn't want to be infected. This is how fucking bad we're getting. But the thing is, it's not even the worst thing. They're on about on the news about taking people from Italy to Germany and they're on about the financial situation. Who the fucking cares about that? And they're telling us all the beneficial news altogether. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Italy is in a bad state right now. It's like, as soon as the first case of coronavirus got over to Italy, it fucking exploded. It was like, I don't even know. I don't know if it was the fact it was uh, there was a lot of Asian workers were there. Not trying to be racist, but it, it is popular there. Or was it the elderly people? I don't know, because people love the retire there live there, there are elderly people who live in the north of Italy compared to the south, that's where some of the best spots are, the holiday resorts, and everything is in the north, right? So, that exploded, and Italy has more, well, the UK has a thousand people dead, right? A thousand people, that's, you might say that's near a lot when a country has um, let's say over 5 million people living in it. I, no, that doesn't sound like a lot. But if 17,000 people have it, and the London capital is the major hotspot, and Boris Johnston, the Prime Minister of the UK, has it now, this is going to fail. What Nicola Sturgeon, actually, let's go to Scotland. Yeah, that's a good fucking idea. Let's go to Scotland and see what's going on there. 19th of March, no, was it 19th of March? I don't know. It was before, the week before the 19th of March, so we're looking at a month before, or a week beforehand. She was telling everyone, right, events over 500, you can't have deem, because this is what our scientists say, right? This is fit they're saying. A week later, all the pubs, all the clubs, all the theatres, shut down. How the fuck does it go to that situation where you have to shut down the pubs and that? If, if it's a situation where it tells you 500 only, and then it goes to shine down every single pub, what the fuck are you doing? We're supposed to be looking at her as a fucking leader. Same as Boris. Why the fuck? Now, this is the thing I don't get about this, leaders. Every time Nicholas says something, Boris says something. Every time Boris says something, Nicholas says something. It's like these two people are leading for the same fucking sheet. I don't fucking get it. It's like they're leading for the same sheet and everyone's like, Oh, what do I talk about next? This is getting fucking serious. And now they're putting the thing about China. Let's go talk about China right now. There are videos coming out with people dead on the fucking street, right? This isn't a new thing. There was like people who were fishing in the river and the body is just lying there in the fucking water and everyone's just kind of looking past him like, Ha! Oh, it's my figure before! He's dead. Moving on. This is getting serious and what is this stuff they're splaying around? Nobody seems to be explaining anything. Because I remember when the, all those American journalists were getting spoken to they will get banned because they've been asked two tough questions. We know what the fuck they're doing, isn't it? They are wanting us to stop learning about anything in China. I think China has a fucking cure. And this is an actual weapon they've used. I know that stuff they've been splaying the loads. Is that the cure? Or is it the virus? They've been trying to kill as much people as they can because they have a way too much big population. And apparently they have a over Muslim population too, which probably makes them lasers, but they're the Chinese Communist Party anyway, so who fucking cares? I, I don't know what to think about this, guys. This is getting way too serious. I mean, I thought this video speech thing I started talking about was the thing. No, this coronavirus is going to end up killing us all if we don't fucking worry about it. Let's go and talk about the states. Are we still recording? Good. We're still fucking the calling because we're going to hear about the United States. What the fuck happened over there? I remember, was it two weeks ago, there was a first case in NYC, New York City. And now the entire 
The entire city is now under quarantine, more or less. And it's been restricted in movement and everything. You can listen to all the fucking bullshit from the news outlets with the billions of dollars of whatever the fucking shit they're talking about next, which I'll probably talk about eventually, with that, that, that bill they tried to go through and it failed a few times because Democrats, and they're on about LA locking down and the power being cut off, but they're going to put like uh, hospital ships because the US Navy has those to treat everyone that shouldn't be in the hospitals. Okay, they're doing that. But now then you hear the information of 500 people fucking dead. Right? 500 people dead from NYC are dead. Dead. They're not alive. They're dead. And they have cooler trucks just ready to fucking go. This is the division game we're listening to here. This is the fucking... Dora flew virus from the division game that Ubisoft made a few years ago in 2016 or 15, I can't remember now. But that is sounds exactly the same situation and we do not have a special bunch of people that go around killing the old gangs and all that. We don't have these things. We have SES and militia groups and all that, but they are not what we ask for, is it? We are in the middle of a pandemic. Things are getting serious. Qatar just announced their first case. And even Donald Trump was on about so many things. And they even told, called him racist. No, this is like stories you listen to to cover up the main fucking story. 120,000 people are infected with the fucking coronavirus in the United States. 120,000. That is the amount of population that could infect the entire United States with a day. That sounds like just a day's estimate. And I bet all these numbers you hear now, they are nowhere. I've always said it for the last three, four weeks. Whenever you hear 500, go and add another 300 on top of that. If you hear 1,000, add another 500 on that. Go and add more numbers onto it, because that's what it's more likely to be. And now, the news outlets, I just looked at them, uh, and it's, um, what time is it now? In recording this video. Sorry if it sounds like this is doubling it, but I looked at the phone and all the news out that seemed to be talking about everything fucking else except the, you know, this virus numbers going up. People are dying. And it, it's, yeah, like I said, it's half past ten right now on the 28th of March. We're not taking this fucking seriously enough. Only two weeks ago, Nicholas Sturgeon said in Scotland, 500 folk in an event, that's fine. That's fine. Then the week later, you shut the pubs. Now we're here in Qatar has it. We're here in Lu Russia is doing something. I don't know if they're doing something or not because the news is just fucking shit. And they're like, oh, they're doing stuff, but we don't have it. And other people are tough. Are you just fucking... Coating it in marshmallows or something, giving pixie dust to everything, and hope out the fucking takes your high weed or something. What the fuck is going on? We are in a situation where we need to protect ourselves. When I heard there was a first story in the Glampy, and there was just like this one story that came out, right? We had this at my other job, right? I have two jobs one's in a store, one's in a food factory. It took lo as long enough to actually shut down the factory because we were all being concerned about this. Rightfully so. And, well, we heard the story of, if it is true, this uh, is in Scotland, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, fine. Like, apparently, the first case that was alive in the Glampian area of Scotland was in Bucky, right? And this guy and his wife were at home, sorry, they went on a holiday in Italy, right? There goes the colleague. Um, sorry. They go to Italy on their holiday, fucking virus hits everything, come back, never get tested at Glasgow Airport, Edinburgh Airport, which fucking one they went to, went all the way back up to, um... Bucky got themselves tested in the hospital, 
or whatever the fuck it was to be sure, then they were tested positive. And this guy's job was a bank manager, I believe, and he and the p three main people who were infected at this time was the guy who gave him the holiday, the wife, and the bank manager. Now, I have possibly got something wrong in that with the who it is, but there is definitely three people in that list, right? There's three people. In that sense, everyone's just thinking, oh, it's somebody Fay Bucky. Okay, that's the bit we all fucking get, right? But are you not getting the fact if this person was infected, went to a highly infectious zone, such as Italy, where the high rate of fucking infection is more likely everywhere, where the bodies aren't even being collected from people's houses, which is true, people are dying in their homes and they can't get their bodies collected. Because the government is too fucking busy trying to deal with the pandemic that's going on. And then you show a fucking video of some fucking Spanish boy playing the guitar or something. I'm fucking real. Back to the story. Apparently the... What happened over there was they came over here and they never got tested. How much fucking people did that go through? Because stainless steel bars apparently now has the virus way longer than it is. And if anyone knows how an airport works, there's a shitload of stainless steel bars, rubber... Would apparently they can last on the surface way longer than 72 hours. <clears throat> longer than 24 hours, 72 hours, 38 hours. They last way longer than this virus does. And how... How... The fuck does that make any sense? How does no one seem to be concerned? Are you just neglecting everything that's going on? Are, are people just... Being numb about what the fuck's going on. In the Glampian area, which I mentioned, there was there were three cases. Like right? now, the case is fifty-two. This, the infection rate in the UK is seventeen thousand people. The amount of dead is one thousand and something. Let's go and add a few more people who, to that list who are actually dead. How much people in that whole list? All the European countries are. Fucked, right? I'm actually was glad about the nationalism thing you getting involved. Now we're actually getting really fucking serious. This is not a political aim anymore because that's what the Congress people did in America. Democrats did that. They used this as a fucking game. They're going to die from it. And if people are going to... There was a case also... I might as well talk about this case because you're not going to hate... You're going to hate me for talking about this as well. Um, this is probably demonetizing, is it? If you survived this long in the video, thank you. Thank you for watching this long. So, in Scotland, a young lad, wee shit of a fucking boy, right? He coughs. He thinks he might have it, so he coughs on a social care worker, an actual wifey, and now she is deemed by the coronavirus. She has it. She has the coronavirus, and she is now suffering from it. Okay? Now it's been faced as a criminal act. Good fucking job. That little fucker has caused that person to maybe be infected, die, cause other people to be infected, and so on. Why do you think it took so long for the UK to get fucking locked down? We were weeks, they said that we're three weeks behind Italy, at least. Three weeks. We're not there. We're already in the fucking shithole and nobody seems to be talking about it. They're saying, oh, we might think the actual estimate numbers are doing 10,000 to 20,000 above the additional number. Don't fucking blame you if that's the number. The quality of the situation we are trying to keep now needs to be fucking tougher. Way fucking tougher. Get the fucking martial law down and everything. Get the tanks on the road. Get the fucking soldiers on the street. If people are not going to fucking listen to you, shoot the fucker because I'm being stupid as fuck. I'm sorry, but that is what I'm suggesting. Because people now, especially the young people now, oh, it's cool to be TikTok in your fucking phone. And then, da -da -da -da, I'm going to infect myself coronavirus and the next day I'm fucking unwell. 
You are the selfish wee fucks. You're the selfish shits. I'm going to talk about the bulk buyers as well. Those people are the most selfish motherfuckers of them all. We should go hard down on these motherfuckers because it's necessary. Do what France did and say, you're not allowed to do this and you're allowed to do that. You know store workers are not allowed to tell people off for buying stuff, right? That's what I was told. I'm not allowed to have, say, oh, sorry, say so you can't buy that. You just get taken off at the tail, mate. Crazy this camera's still running. Um, you get take off the tail. It's a fucking joke. If the case like now is 17,000, and Boris Johnson himself is infected, like I said, we are in the middle of a fucking war. And I believe China did it. China has to do it. Look at them right now. They say they have no cases whatsoever. Bull shit. You look up the, the Glasgow news and you see footage that has been rendered so many times it's unreal. Bodies lying on the street because we know what the fuck happens. There was this one story I heard that went to North Korea. This one Chinese person went to North Korea. He was obviously fucking shot, wasn't he? If he went to North Korea, wasn't he? Because they have full fucking lockdown in that country. They're saying, oh, we can do these things in this country, in that country. This is why this doesn't work. They are locking people up in their houses. They are making sure there's big bolt bars at doors in their flats so people stay in their fucking flats. They are going hard down in China. They are shooting people. I fucking bet they are. They're shooting people. They're making sure who lives, who dies. They're telling as much the press as they little as possible. And now Europe is becoming the next epicenter of the virus. And now we hear news reports of the Chinese government making sure all foreigners don't come back to their country. To that country at all. And they're telling all the foreigners that's in the country to get the fuck out. In 24 hours and they're going to go full lockdown. You know why? So they can control everything they have. Because I think they still got it. I think they still have it. But it's funny enough, there was somebody I watched, some doctor guy. In Wuhan, right, it was a wet market. If you know anything about wet markets... You're still recording? Fucking hell. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in Wuhan, right, this is what happened. Apparently, funny enough, Wuhan wet market. This is a very, very unsafe <laughs> place to have food. This is live animals of every kind you can think of. Rats, pigs, zebras, what the fuck you can think of. Badgers. Amongst raw meat of snakes, raw meat of anything, cows, beef, pig, anything. It's a large mix of everything. Cats, dogs, live ones, dead ones, and everything. Bats. Bat soup. That's where fucking we bet that whole thing came from. Bat soup. Bat fucking soup. People were drinking it because it was a heritage thing. Because there were some people that were going around saying, Oh, I'll drink bat soup because it's my heritage. It's not your heritage if you're from another country. All the fucking Chinese people over there probably had this stuff for years. Because they were probably used to it by then and it's immune to their system. But we're not. There's so many things about this virus that we don't know yet. But one thing is for certain, it's fucking killing people. And I'm going to tell you this now. Get your gloves, get your masks, stock up on all your fucking food right now. Stock everything you need to do, do it now. This is the one opportunity you're going to get when this country goes to full lockdown. If the case is 17,000, we only locked down it. Well, it wasn't even full lockdown. Italy tried the same lockdown procedure before it was a... Uh, same the... Sorry. Same as the UK's one. It was the, you know, you could go out for jogging, you could cycle, you could do all these things, you could uh, go to the shops and all that, as long as you were restricted just to do those fucking things, right? And then you ended up 
having to look after your sister's body, you have to look at your mother's body, and the government will take the bodies away. The UK is going to end up in one of these situations too, because if you haven't figured this out yet, London is a massive hot spot, right? The more chance of the London area being the hot spot was probably inevitable. England is just as bad. If you were to figure out a place of the pandemic, London, England would be the worst. And this is actually why the south of Scotland is the worst. And I live at the very northern northern part of the UK, right? That bit where the, you know, it's like the top bit there and it leads down there and so on. Don't explain it. Um, we don't know jack shit about what's going to end up happening to us yet. Things are getting serious down there. That's why the streets are empty down there. People are... We don't know anything that's going on up here yet. We don't know how bad this is going to go. The, things are going to get worse. We will need that martial law when it comes to enforce. We will need people like the CDL, the group I have just organised. We will need people to look after that very, very well to be looked after. I even formed a group called the CDL, the Civilian Defence League. Our purpose is to protect people, businesses and so on from what will happen next. From the pandemic and from other human beings who are willing to take lives for their own hand. I do not want people to die. But I'm going to tell you this now. The people who will act like scumbags right now, the ones who are bulk buying, the ones who are hating people, shoving our grannies out of the way, ones who are taking all the stuff, all the food, all the product, the ones who were selfish enough to go out at the weekends when we were told fucking by advice not to go. I know I was out that other week before this. But we knew it wasn't going to be as bad up here yet. So that was like my last weekend. Ooh, the timing scale, that wasn't probably well. But I know now this is becoming a situation where this country will need to act very fucking fast. It needs to go very quickly about what's going to happen next. This is why I formed a group on the F FB page of the Civilian Defence League designed for this scenario. We un I do not want to form a group like this. This sounds like a very fascist kind of group. I do not want to go against the government. I would like to help the government any way possible in a civilian way. But I am also asking people in that group to actually put their lives at risk, which is probably not a good advice just now. But if the government does fall, we need something to protect them from the other people who would take massive advantage over this. But this is not the chance for the CDL to become an actual threat. And uh, this is a mob rule, this is none of these things. This is all designed for protection of the public in all seriousness. But if this is if things go worse. I assume things will not get worse and things will get better eventually. But if the government does lose control, CDL is on option and probably not probably active. So let's not talk about that. CDL is different. CDL is my last caution of trying to get anything to get this country going back to where it used to be. But I hope this government does realise what's going to happen next. It where the case of possibly 10 to 20,000 people got infected and the the late of, what was it, the first person died the 5th of March. Today's the 29th. And the numbers is 1,059 or something. Go make the math and figure out how much people died within that period. Actually, 200 people died within the last 24 hours. So that what made the number go up. So people have been fighting for that long. There are people who are surviving this. Thank fuck. They are good doing that. But if I was to end this video off. Good, we're still recording. If I'm ending off this video in any sort of way. I'm going to tell you in one way now. Do not take this as a funny joke. This is serious. 
This is necessary for your safety. Try and take as much as you can. No, actually don't do that. That's more that's selfish. Try and protect your loved ones. What we have been doing actually no, let's try this again. What you've been doing the first five, seven years will not work now. What you were thinking was okay will not work now. You think going out and dating girls and then going out to another girl and dating her and cheating on the other one, that doesn't fucking work anymore. This is back to World War shit. This is when things mattered. You want to cheat on girls? That's fine. You want to do that? That's great. You're going to fucking die. This is not going to work. This is sounds very unrelevant, but it does make effect. What all the stupid shit like what I just mentioned there, cheating on girls, going up to takeaways, going thinking you're better than everyone else in the world, going bulk buying, don't do this. All this stuff is going to lead to you dying. Because this virus does not choose what it wants to kill, it just does it. It, it's not racist, it's not selective, it just finds you, kills you, and that's it. This is your serial killer's fucking dream. He just kills you, burns you alive, and makes sure you still feel the pain. Gives you some magical treatment so you can still feel the burning after you're dead. This is a very serious virus that's going on in this country right now. This shit you did before... Or cheating, what you thought things was needed, what wasn't needed, not caring about family members enough. This isn't now. We need to protect our families, our friends, our loved ones, especially our children. Because everyone is on the, the target board here. Every single one of these people that we have in our lives is on the board. And by fuck, I don't want to see any of them dead. But I know somebody's going to end up dying on that list of mine. I know there's a list of people I don't want dead. And I know someone is going to be picked off on that list. And I'm going to do everything in my fucking power to make sure that doesn't happen. And I'm putting myself on the front line in a store. Right? If you made it along this video, that's great. So, what I suggest for you now... What I suggest for you right now is make sure you have stock ready for this to go into complete lockdown. The martial law will be implemented. This will be a serious scenario. We might even end up in mob rule. This is not how things go. We hope this isn't going to go as bad as it does. But this UK is a, such a dysfunctional workplace it will be impossible to really fix everything again because as England is it's only dysfunctional as it is cities are so close to each other neighborhoods plot points plots uh, you know functions everything they're so built in close together all the people who don't realize what's going on now the curve that's just getting built now it doesn't matter anymore it doesn't matter anymore. What matters now is you surviving. I want to make sure whoever watches the video till now is still alive by the end of it. And I want you to like this video to make sure you saw this video. To saw this guy was actually being serious about this stuff. And I'm telling you right now, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying, I'm not try and do anything bad by this video. I am just trying to give you the facts straight as they fucking are. We are in a massive pandemic right now and all your childish acts from the last five, seven years you've built up will not happen now. If you think about leaving a girl, she will be your missus for the future. There will be a massive baby boom in the world and you will be this amazing people when it comes out to the end. We will be the survivors of this pandemic. We will create this new world when it comes up. I am not suggesting taking it over. I am only suggesting we should prevail once this is over. We should be stronger as one human force. If we are not going to be united by anything, 
Be united by this. Please. Don't die. Don't be selfish. Look after your friends, families, loved ones, even if you don't if they don't even love you back, protect them. Cause this will kill them if you're not careful. This does not like anything. This COVID nineteen. God, this is gonna be depressing for me to think about. So if you somehow manage this video to the very end thank you this is a very serious time for us we need to take this seriously <clears throat> we need to take this seriously we need to take this to the head we need to protect our families our friends and so on if the numbers are just as high as they are now higher than china these European countries, as well as this one, the UK, will not survive this likely without things being harshly put down. This is the dollar flu, but worse. Well, actually, the dollar flu was actually probably way worse than this. But this is the scenario that we're in. We have to protect each other. I'm going over the same words again. Because people don't get it the first time, they don't get it the second time, they don't get it the third fucking time, they don't get it the fourth time, they will get it before they have a gun to their heed and shot by some mobster getting scared to buy fucking toilet roll. So please, protect your family, protect your friends, protect the loved ones, even if you don't love them or they don't love you back, I don't fucking care. Protect every single human being you can the humans are the one thing that kept this world going this is what's keeping your life going the way it is so well i know that sounds a bit stupid coming from my mouth but it's necessary what we're just about to embark on is going to change your life forever what you've done for the last five years that i've said is going to mean absolute bullshit bull fucking shit that's what's going to mean. It's going to be fucking mean nothing. Your old ways, the old habits, they're not going to work now. They will never work. I'm repeating myself because somehow people don't listen when they get told stuff once, twice, three fucking times, four times. Look at the UK now. How much more of your fucking liberties have to go away before you fucking listen, you dumb fuckers? I know. I'm looking at you ones who are so, so fucking dumb. We had to go into full fucking lockdown for this to fucking work, right? Good! This is what fucking happens when you don't listen. So, when this pandemic reaches us, the whole UK, England's in a hot zone right now. And you lot who haven't been suffered yet, you are damn lucky. But, all I ask you now is survive this. Make sure this nation st stands strong. Make sure this United Kingdom stays united underneath one front to protect each other. All I ask you to do is to protect your friends, your family, and your loved ones. Even the ones that you don't, they don't love you as much back. Protect them at all costs. Because things are going to get nasty. Things are going to get worse if the government loses control of this country, which is highly likely, it's going to get worse. And I believe the last epicenter of that kind of scenario will be London. But Scotland might get lucky, Wales might be too, but we don't know. This is a really unknown situation we have to deal with here. So, you might think this is funny me wearing the hat and the glasses, but I'm fucking serious. We are in the end, edge of an epidemic which could end what we have now. France realised this, Italy realised this, Spain realised this, Germany realised this, Poland knows this, and America is now, as well, suffering. They are all suffering under the same banner now. It is out, up to you to protect each other. Got it? 
So thank you for watching this video if you survived this long. And I hope you guys survive to the end and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.